this is probably gonna be the quickest aquarium build I've ever done in my life. Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Uh, let's get this uh, aquarium build. Let's see how it looks at the end. So I'm gonna be placing the glass, separating them and uh, placing them on this stick and I'm gonna be starting the process. Okay, before I start, I must share something with you. Um, when I went to the glass store to purchase glass, I ensure that the edges are actually shaved on the outside. So in placing the glass on the, you know, placing the glasses together like a jigsaw puzzle, that it's going to be, I um, mean, building the aquarium, um, whenever it's finished, the outer section of the glass will not, by accident, um, cut my hands. I have been you know damaging my hands over a couple of years building aquariums so i have devised a strategy to get uh the sides of the glass beveled now i'm going to be pulling up all of this and then i'll get back to putting the glass together so i want the treading of the silicone to be small i don't want it to be wide because this is just quarter inch arm um, glass thick glass so i am not going to be cutting it um down here where it should be it will be um, why I'm going to be cutting it up by this section so it has been cut with a slant type of um yeah a slant type of cut which allows me to rest the silicone um on the glass and um it will be much easier to run the bead across the glass so this is the first glass that I'll be placing the silicone on I'm going to be rubbing the silicone with the beads here and um you notice that none of the sides are actually um i call it beveled or smooth down right because this will be lying on the centerpiece glass or you call it the, the substrate glass after running the bead the silicone gun creating a bead on the glass i then turn the glass on to the substrate glass which is here it's going to be a little bit difficult i am the only one actually doing this video recording while i'm actually working so um pardon me if you some sections are missed that's because i'm trying to do this in less than 10 minutes i'm trying to break a record here with the help of my daughter i was able to put these first two glasses together but i realized a problem it's supposed to be uh, 15 feet off the ground and 18 feet wide i'm gonna have to change that um because the person who's supposed to cut the glass did not cut the glass properly so therefore, I am having an edge right there. I need to deliver the aquarium um, the next week. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment as to the style. So um, four of the five glasses are actually there. The glass was not cut properly. Um, the glass was supposed to be all the way up here. That means the other glass that's going to be placed here is going to be out for a little bit, right? Um, I'm hesitating whether or not to turn it around and place the other glass this way, but that will make here have a little bit more bulge. Um, you know, it, it, I don't think it will sit well, but I'm going to see what happens. Okay. I've had issues with this aquarium. This aquarium built, right? This aquarium was built with background um, midnight um, tinting. I shared with you um, how that was done in the last video. When I went to the glass store, I gave the um, gentleman the measurement and he somewhat thought that the aquarium would be 18 inches high off the ground, but it is 15 right so he you know he normally takes off a few call it a um i call it half inch a quarter inch on each side of the glass and so what happened is that in taking off quarter inch on one side and quarter inch on one side i actually you know run short on one side because he thought it was 18 um, inches from the ground uh, from the substrate um you know length up in the air right um height in the air right and 15 wide 
but it was the opposite way around which is the 18 inches wide and 15 inches um, in height um it's gonna be a little difficult to actually get this thing all done up in time as a project for my client my clients have actually um started to um build an aquarium stand and cover and so it is my guess that the cover will actually um you know decrease the the, 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 the not so attractive look of um you know being uh one side being half well both sides being half inches short than the back and the front it's a little bit difficult for me right now to make the adjustment based on the timing and uh, what was required right so um i have opted to actually instead of placing the glass um between the front and the back aquarium glass i place it at the side i'm not 100 percent sure how long this will take to actually um cure because um uh, you know it, 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 silicone dries or should i say works better under pressure so being in the middle i will be sure that um everything will be okay in about three days time now that it is at the side i've actually heavily taped the side together on the long pieces right so there's a little pressure there but not enough that i think would actually be sufficient to you know up to my how i would want it to be the pressure so i am gonna have to probably every 24 hours I'm gonna to have to turn it around probably turn around this side to be facing up some amount of pressure um within the next 24 hours so this will be it will be up in the air and the next 24 hours will be on this side which allows both sides to go on in extreme pressure so as to allow the silicone to hold right silicone takes about seven days to 100 percent clear as a result of the you know trial and error a lot of um silicone have actually been displaced on the glass which actually gives me a lot of work right now as uh you know when i'm cleaning up i'm gonna try as best as possible to manage this so that um my client doesn't feel you know perturbed about it but this is how it goes in in business sometimes sometimes you know you meet up on challenges and this is just one of my challenge right so I am going to be working on that to manage that, right? These, these um, silicones will be scraped off. Yeah, will be scraped off by me um, with a razor blade. As soon as it dries, it, it's, it works better when it dries, meaning that I can scrape it off easily with a razor blade, right? And um, we'll see what happened. But the tint is looking good. The tint is really looking good. So this aquarium is primarily built for, so I think it's a pair of Jack Dempsey, right? Uh, this is a 50 gallon guys, 50 gallon aquarium, right? So uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, have a wonderful day. A lot of issues with this aquarium built. First in my life, I have had so many issues with one aquarium. Let's hope that, you know, it works out good peace out